Hello and welcome to the Coffee Shop Show. It's great to have you joining us live on all our streams across the world, actually. Um, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on LinkedIn, if Link's working this time, and all of those great places. So great to have you with us. Coffee Shop Show for Entrepreneurs is brought to you by the Temple Project, and it's very much all about that. It's about entrepreneurs savoring the global economy one small business at a time. Even when you have flu and hardly a voice, you can still come out, represent business, and be live on YouTube. So how the show works is, is we've got our panel of entrepreneurs from also around the world, and uh, they're going to be covering a very important topic for today. We're going to be discussing this all about how you can become a part of the Fempreneur movement. Now, we've all been hearing a lot on the YouTube channel about the Fempreneur movement, but we're going to be doing a little bit more because we give away prizes every week. Uh, and your opportunity. So we're going to start off with a prize giving, then we're going to announce what the next prize is and show you how you can rack up your points to be put into the draw to win those amazing prizes. So if you get my share screen right, the first prize we're going, the prize we're going to be giving away today is the Explore Van Bundle with $350. And it's five to seven years, uh, five to seven years, five to seven hours of personalized VA services from our Explore Band members. And it really is a truly powerful group of members as it is. So it's cash flow management, document coordination, document creation, sales advisory, CRM setup, email management. You will be having some Explore virtual assistants helping you with this bundle. So the theme, I'm going to stop sharing. Would you like to pull up the random spinning wheel of Austinet with everybody who is entered? And we can do the spin to choose our winner for today. Let's do it, guys. Oh, my goodness. I am excited. I'm very excited because I don't know where the wheel is. Oh, there oh, it there is. There it is. <laughs> that was very professional. <laughs> okay. Are you guys ready? So the winner of this prize is getting five to seven extra hours from the fairies of Explore Band, all the virtual assistants. Do you want to see who it is? Yes, let's see who it is. Let's like, do this. In the wheel. Okay, okay, okay. I get so nervous. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it. To click it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that is awesome, Hendrik. How do you feel? Oh, it's perfect. Comes at exactly the right time. Um, we are talking to Marty and uh, have some things uh, going on in the background. So this is awesome news. Um, and uh, thank you very much. Yay. Awesome. Cool. So Marty, Janine, Somerville, all of you. So sad, beautiful virtual assistants on the call right now. Hendrik is your target. Let's see what magic you can make with him. Thank you so much for being the most amazing sponsors in the entire world. We love you so much, Explore Van. You're amazing. And um, yeah, we'll invite you guys back in three months so, you, so Hendrik can talk all about how the fairies of Explore Van just completely changed his life. You know, I think if we look at our business, it wouldn't be the same without no. uh, without VAs. Oh my goodness me! Not it wouldn't be the same. No, it wouldn't be the same. Back to you, Chris. Okay, fantastic. So congratulations, Indra. That is awesome, and we're going to make plans and sort out your prize for you very, very soon. That's very cool. So, should we get on to the announcement for? the next prize and also our contact details are down below in the description so if you'd like to be a sponsor on the show and be highlighted to entrepreneurs around the world well make contact with us and we will set that up for you and the next prize that we're going to be giving away in two weeks time if i'm not correct it's not next week the week after is all about something that is absolutely key and king it's a cash flow bundle so it's four and a half hours of financial assistance valued at $250, as well as the awesome new official Explore Protect t-shirt, which Peter and Estine are now wearing, um, that you can see on the show. So made up of it is uh, awesome to some with cash flow management check and advice with two hours. Monia, uh, Monia does all of our Explore Protect accounts and uh, often comes up, I don't know about this, and everybody's answer is always go ask Monia. It's a cash flow analysis of an hour and a half. And then Linda, 
I'm actually just going to let you chat about yours because you, you do it better than what I can. All right, thank you. <laughs> um, well, yeah, this is very exciting. And thank you to Susan for reaching out to include me in this cash flow bundle. I really appreciate that. So yeah, once the other two ladies have worked their magic uh, and, and taken a good look and analyzed your particular challenges around the cash flow, then my role will be to help you to set targets and to keep you accountable for those targets for the next quarter. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks, Linda. Um, let me stop the share. Right. So we're going to be giving that away in two weeks time. So how can you get your points to, you know, get in on the draw? And remember, you've got to collect 35 points. So first port of call, if you comment on this video on Facebook or YouTube or one of our live streams with uh, how awesome the Fempreneur movement is or I need cash flow help, you will get a bonus point towards your tally of 35. Then also what you can do is head on over here. The link is down below in the description. Uh, it shows and explains what the Fempreneur movement is, how to get involved, some of the prizes, some of the sponsors. But this is where you get to. It's three simple steps. You sign up for the referral program and you get a unique referral link. Then you share your unique referral link to earn points on all your social media channels. So it's a very simple process. Put in your name, put in your last name, your email address, they sign up, and then you get given a unique referral link that you can share. Also, part of it is go and join the Facebook group as well. That's the Fempreneur Community Facebook page or group, which is in the description down below. So exciting things for giving away last month again. Congratulations, Hendrik, on winning that awesome Explore Band Prize. And we're going to be giving away the cash flow bundle in two weeks' time. And with that, we're going to get into the most important part of the show, which is our main topic. We're going to discuss all around how you can get involved with the Fempreneur movement. Over to Peter and Estine, who are going to take it away for us. Thank you so much, Chris. What an exciting show, guys. I am so happy to see all the prizes flowing around for all the different entrepreneurs. I think this is just beautiful, the way everyone is supporting each other and making life better for each other. Hendrix getting a couple more hours. Um, and whoever wins like next time around is going to get their cash flow sorted out just in time for Christmas, which I don't know about you, but I think all entrepreneurs in the entire world can relate to the cash flow crunch that Christmas brings. <laughs> so it's just been time. Yeah, I think let's, let's bring it back to a little bit of reality as well. Um, does it sound like it's a punt? Yes, it may. Um, but let's go back to reality. It's not about the prices. Never was, never will be. It's about the people and it's about the relationships that are built. Can Do we have the ability in the space to put prizes together and to help people? Yes, we do. Do we have the ability to give those prizes away? Yes, yes, we do. But but for, pe but for people out there, it, it shouldn't be about the prizes and it's not and it never will be. It's about the community. It's about building the community. It's about pushing a movement that will benefit everyone and growing that space. So... Join the movement, become part of it. It's, it's all about making change. We can we can do that together. For sure. As long as we keep the support flowing, keep the services flowing, keep keep cash flowing, guys. Like that is what entrepreneurship is all about. That's the economy and that's how we make it a better place. Uh, just on that note, this t-shirt design has been contributed by Jeff Bonanno. If you still want to do a co-branded t-shirt with us, feel free to jump in as soon as your design. If the people love the design, we'll print it, we'll give it away. But this is the exact one. So in two weeks' time from now, if you win the cash flow bundle, we will also send one of these your way. So you can get this gorgeous shirt and wear Mr. Bonanno. Yeah, and we don't often dress like twins, I promise. <laughs> just saying. Well, we can make him think, Peter. No, it's like... not. <laughs> okay, guys. So into the conversation for today. I'm very excited about this topic. Let's talk about the Fempreneur movement and how people can get involved. Well, I think before we talk about the Fempreneur movement, how people can get involved, let's talk about what it is. Okay. Can't get involved with something unless you know exactly what it actually is. So... 
who wants to take this on? We're going to call on the panel to get involved over here. Do you want to start explaining to us a bit about what the Fempreneur movement is all about, how people can get involved? I think it's amazing to have opportunities. It's amazing the opportunities that are created by movements like this. So I'll give you a little story. So I've been watching The Undercover Billionaire, which, by the way, if you haven't watched that, it's brilliant. you have to watch that because I'm going to be making all of you do that in future. <laughs> We're going to have our own explore project version of this. We have to. It's literally where they take a billionaire and they take away all his money and they take away all his contacts, right, all the assets, everything. They dump him somewhere in the world with $100 and he needs to build a million-dollar business in 90 days. And in the first season, the first entrepreneur that actually does this does it so well. Does it really well, but he falls just short of a million dollars. And then in the second season, there's three more entrepreneurs going and taking the challenge, and they end up building, I think, a million dollar business, a two million dollar business, and a five million dollar business in 90 days. And what is so amazing about this show, if you actually go and look at it, is you would wonder, right, like start to think now, like what do these people do to turn $100 into a million? Like what? where do you even start? Literally, without fail, every single entrepreneur that does this, they start with connecting with the right people in the town that they get dumped in. They look for strategic connections and they build those relationships. And from those relationships, all the rest of the opportunities actually flows. So and that's what the Fempreneur movement is about, right? It's about connecting entrepreneurs around the world and putting it out there that we are here to save the global economy. Like one of the things that we want to do is give access to skills for Fempreneurs. But around this movement, there's so many opportunities where you can get involved, that you can use your entrepreneurial thinking skills and come up with ways that you can fit into this movement and that is what what makes it so exciting and, and is the vampreneur a course yes um is it about the course no um at the end of the day it's about getting into a space where people can learn together they can grow together have access to relationships they haven't had access to before they can hold each other accountable in that space and the Fempreneur does not end. It is not a course where you get a certificate and well done, thank you very much for coming, now be on your way and go and do your best on your own. This is about becoming part of a community so we can take what we've learned and drive it with the, with the help of others so that we can actually take what we've learned and turn it into something tangible. Mm -hmm. Let's create the ability for people within communities to generate cash flow from what they've learned and being supported. I don't think spaces have done this before. I, I, I don't think there's anything out there like this. A, a lot of people will sell you a course, buy this course, if you buy this course guaranteed, you will, you will multiply your business and they'll give you all the information, but then they just leave you on your own. Off you go, go do this. We wanna change that. So. The closest thing that I've seen to this, which is why I keep bringing it up, is the Undercover Billionaire where they do the same, like there's this one lady, she builds a company called Rooted, and it's about giving access to well-being to, to everyone, like making it more accessible for everyone. But around this, like that's the movement, but around it, they, she created so many different opportunities, and it was literally about people like this, like we're together here now, coming together and brainstorming and thinking, how can I harness this movement to feed myself and also the rest of the entrepreneurs, where can we create more opportunities? So in that example, she had mobile truck vendors come in that could franchise the movement and then make money from that. She had volunteers coming in that could build their strategic relationships with billionaires and people like her <laughs> when they get involved in this movement. She had local vendors where she placed the, the wellness shots that they produced. She built a relationship with the mayor. And they became involved. So it's about thinking like, so currently with the fame premier, we have so many different opportunities. You can become a champion. You can become a coach. You can become someone that does the fame premier. You can get involved in the referral program. 
we want to hear from you guys. How else do you think we could start thinking about the opportunities to create more opportunities for different people to get involved? Chris, please go for it. <laughs> so also just to answer the question, what is the entrepreneur movement? I'll put it in a very big nutshell, and it's quite funny because it's right. So at the core of the center, it's more about a principle of saving the global economy once at the time, focusing on entrepreneurs and a few cool guys at the same time. And then around that, you've got an amazing thought that's been built to support those entrepreneurs and a few cool guys. And then around that is a community of people working together through various different channels to spread the word, change the thinking, change the way we do business that we've been doing wrong for how many millions of years, where it's now changing and helping create that movement awareness and change. And then there's a community, a wider community around them supporting each other with tons of opportunities to be a part of the movement. So it's almost like a, a lot of little circles within circles within circles within circles uh, supporting and growing with each other. Yes, there's the course, but at the core, the value is the thought around changing how we do business, focusing on entrepreneurs and a few cool guys, which I think is something worth getting involved with. And one of the ways that you can do it is take the link from this video and share it far and wide on your social media channels, help spread the word, help spread the awareness, and then people can click on all the links below and all the other things that the rest of the panelists are going to mention, and they can find out and they put, find where they fit in into the bigger, wider picture of things and get involved that way. That's it for me, Chris Colby from Live to Dream. I'm your virtual business manager. Thank you so much, Chris. That's amazing. I love that. And something as simple as that. How can you get involved? Click the share button now <laughs> or else. <laughs> love it. Scott, let's go to you. Hey, everybody. So I just had a call um, with a friend of mine in Belgium. He's a fractional CFO. Um, and he was telling me that at the moment in uh, Europe, parts, specifically parts of Europe, um, it, the, uh, people that were paying 250 euros a month for electricity are now paying 2,000 euros a month. It's become five to six times more expensive. It's, it's, got, it's so, it's insane. He said, basically, um, there's a lag approach. So you're going to see inflation's bad already. It's going to start getting a lot worse. But the reason I'm telling you guys this is because... Um, like there's basically two mentalities. Um, there's a survival of the fittest mentality, which is like whoever's going to be kind of last man standing, kind of is going to take over everything. Um, or it's going to be communities that start getting together and work together and start actually helping each other. If you look at the 9-11, the post 9-11, there were some studies done where this whole concept was that, oh, you know, when 9-11 hit, there's people looting and they're running around and people stealing and there's no law. It was lawlessness in New York and whatever. Um, there was a whole, there's a couple of studies done that says actually there were places where it was exactly the opposite. People were coming together, they were helping each other, they were working together in a crisis, um, and a crisis actually brought people together. So we, I think we, th this tribe is amazing at that uh, coming together and working together. And what we're doing here is so important. So movements like Fempreneur and all the other great stuff that you're doing, please don't discount the importance of this work that's being done. It's not just another networking group of people getting together. There's really, really serious shit coming worldwide. And I think South Africa has actually been through a lot of it. And we're actually able to be in a position globally to make a big difference. That is such yeah. an important insight, Scott. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Just to highlight what Scott said about people actually coming together. If we take the people that we see as recognized as some of the world's best and most successful entrepreneurs. They have certain ways of doing things. And if we take that show Undercover Billionaire, the one thing that they all did and that they had in common was that the very first thing that they did was they surrounded themselves with the right people. They made the right connections. They were very strategic. Then they actually cared for those people. And in, in, a, in most of this, they put those people first and they ended up getting what they needed out of the situation, but the other person always benefited from it. So it was about creating a community where you benefit each other, not just yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're in a community for yourself, please be elsewhere. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this is about people growing together. So mm -hmm. oh, I love that. And this is Scott, you forgot to do the most important part. You're such a selfless human being. That is Scott Kundal from My Most Trusted, everybody. And Scott, just a little bit about what you do. 
Oh, cool, guys. Well, I mean, you know, hopefully you guys are all using my most trusted, adding your trusted connections. Um, our goal is to rid, rid the world of spam and hard selling automation bots, uh, all that fake profile that's going on and create a human to human system uh, online. Um, it's a plug into LinkedIn and it allows you to connect your trusted connections to each other. Nestine is rocking with it. I think Nestine, you're like one of the leaderboard now, aren't you? And have you seen the new, there's a new tab called um, My Most Trusted Super Connectors. So I yeah, so you're up there. Some Somerville was the first person to see that, and that's the reason why I'm on. <laughs> oh, you guys are pumping it. Oh, that's of course Somerville's been rocking and rolling with it. No, it's a pleasure working with you. So, guys, we just want to create warm introductions. That's the goal. Uh, working with guys like uh, the Tribe, um, Explore ProTech. Um, it's all about warm introductions to the people you want to meet. That's everything it comes down to. So, that's that's it, guys. If you're not using my most trusted and you need help, just let us know. Let the tribe know. Learn how to use it and use it. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Guys, we'll put the my most trusted link in the description below, together with all the links and links of the awesome humans you're seeing on the show today. Go and download it if you haven't yet. Also, if you haven't seen it, checked it out in a while. It also happens to drive traffic. It has like developed a lot. Scott has put like a ton of work into developing it. So go and check out the new tabs. There's a new tab where you can get introductions, do introductions, like there's a super connectors list. It's like insane. But uh, yeah, so from, from Scott, let's move to Linda. Linda, and you're one of the coaches on the Fempreneur. You're also one of the Fempreneur coaches that got in. You just like, as soon as you saw Fempreneur's running again, you were like, I'm in there. I'm this opportunity I'm making for myself. No, 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 no. She wasn't like, I'm in there. She's like, I'm in there or else. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so, so I'm keen to hear from you. Like, how do you think people think about this, like in a new way? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Th thank, thank you for that. Absolutely. I mean, since 2020, I've been asking when's the next Fempreneur program right because I missed the first one and I I wish I had been there to participate in that so definitely I'm so excited about the the Fempunior courses and the Fempunior program and I love Peter how you explained that it's just not just a course it's it's a movement and it's continuous and I really love what Scott was saying about the community I I'm a huge believer that yeah, governments are going to have less and less um, power in the future and it's going to be in the hands of the people and we are going to do things for our fellow human beings much more than than in the past so it's not the profit motive to me anymore i think it's 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 the humanity motive right um but that aside topic for today uh what came to my mind because we are doing some amazing work online, connections, driving YouTube channels, LinkedIn, et cetera. What about um, also promoting offline? And what I mean by that is encouraging our members to share about the Fempreneur program movement, the Explore Pro Tech, exactly what we do with your other real in-person meeting type uh, scenarios. So for example, I'm a Rotarian. Rotary is an international organization with 1.2 million members, right? With my own little club though, the 16 members, I could go and actually tell them about the Fempreneur program. Have I done that yet? No. So it's kind of a suggestion to myself, go and tell these people, do a little presentation, you know, tell them about it. Same with Toastmasters, which is also an international organization of several hundred thousand members. Same story. Have I gone and told Toastmaster members about Fempreneur? No, I haven't. Reminder to self to do so. And you can extend this to your church, your, if you're part of a, a mom, school mom's group or something, or, you know, some other, your knitting class that you go to, or your, your sports events that you're part of, the golf that you play, you know, so I'm kind of, it's, it's just a thought that came to me, but I'm saying, how about that? How about just also suggesting the offline? One last point on it is because 
myself and I'm sure many uh, other members existing and potential are overwhelmed by social media and overwhelmed by the need to keep pushing, pushing, pushing Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, et cetera. I would much rather go and have real conversations with those people I just mentioned. That's Linda Dent, Just Ask Linda Business Coaching. I help you to live a life of glee. That means grow, learn, empower, enjoy, and I can assist you with your business challenges to reach that gleeful life point. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. And Linda is also the numbers ninja on the actual Fempreneur course, guys. So that's going to be epic. I love your suggestion, Linda. I'm like one of those people, like very few people know this, but like I'm a very introverted. It's a very weird combination. Like I'm very introverted, but I can walk down the street and go into like all the shops and tell them about something like I actually enjoy that that is like like when I was three years old I was selling I was painting like these little rocks and like owls and then I would walk door to door and sell them because I was just like I, I had fun doing that <laughs> so guys yeah reach out to the local entrepreneurs around you that you love I've already reached out to my circle and I'm, I'm having the coffees and then you'll see some of them are actually coming on to a coffee shop show because some of them are local entrepreneurs but they're yeah. really successful and I think like if we can highlight what what each person is successful in and then introduce them into the community and then we can learn from each other because each entrepreneur is also successful in a different area so that's something Thing we want to do so when you're having this local coffees like Linda suggested like bring them back here and tell them we can interview them on the coffee shop show just click on my LinkedIn link get in touch right and we'll schedule it and we'll get them support we'll get them some visibility and we'll in introduce them into the fame for your movement I think that's brilliant Linda thank you so much for that suggestion and that's why you're the amazing business coach that you are right <laughs> Awesome. Let's move on to the podcast master and the bride master of this Saturday, Hendrik. Uh, I was so sorry not to be able to join that Zoom, but I did my best on the WhatsApp group. Um, yeah, so uh, you were talking about champions for Fempreneur, and um, I haven't really discussed this through with, with Ethan, and I'm sure I'm going to get into great trouble. But I thought, why don't we do a limited series podcast and interview everybody who's going to be presenting on Fempreneur, as well as yourselves, uh, Nessin and Peter, so we can get a very clear understanding of what it's all about. And this way, we can then share through all our tribe members the links to the podcast and, and expose it to as many people as possible. Um, and seeing that we've got the VAs on board now, that's, that's one of the first things I'm going to throw to them is organize this for us. And even do some of the interviews, and we'll, we'll train you a little bit and, and empower you to do some podcasting. So uh, we, we're very passionate about that, uh, teaching people how to how to do podcasting. And my book is almost ready, How to Be a Podmaster. I'm just doing final edits quickly. Um, so, yeah, that's my contribution this morning. And um, we just need to organize the logistics and do it as soon as possible before the end of the year. So we can roll it out as from January. That will give us, uh, I think, a, a lot of traction going into April. Uh, Hendrik uh, from Baird Media with the podcasting people. What makes us different is we repurpose your podcast so you can get a ton of content from a limited series. I thank you all. Thank you so much, Hendrik. And Ethan, wow. don't be mad at Hendrik. Hendrik is being awesome. And this is going to be so cool. I just love it. And I know Linda loves speaking on PR opportunities. So she's probably like, that is a great idea, Hendrik. <laughs> you just keep coming up with those ideas. That sounds epic. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is going to be so cool. So we're going to have a podcast. And, and what I love about that opportunity is obviously it highlights the fempreneur movement, right? And it's going to help us find more fempreneurs that need us. But it's also going to highlight bait media in the process, which is what this process is all about, guys. Like, put on your entrepreneurial thinking hat. Think where the opportunity is for your business to get involved in this. Where's the win, win, win? Mm -hmm. And then slot in there just like Hendrik. Hendrik, you're amazing. Thank you so much. That is so cool. I think that was actually pulled off really well. If we if we look at <laughs> you know if we if we look at um, the perfect scenario, 
um, in entrepreneurship and opportunities. Opportunities are not events that just magically happen. They're not um, things that just fall out of the sky and land in your lap. They're not opportunities are people. It's understanding who those people are. It's understanding what those people do. It's understanding how you build a relationship with that person. And then it's understanding how you position yourself with them and others so that it is beneficial to everyone. Now, that is creating opportunity because you can create opportunity from nothing mm -hmm. if you're meeting and talking to the right people. Well, nothing plus people. You, you cannot do it you cannot by do yourself. You can do without people. I have tried. <laughs> it doesn't work. You'll die. I promise you. But yeah, that is epic. Wonderfully done, Hendrik. Thank you so much. And guys, if you haven't had a coffee with Hendrik yet, book a coffee. Link the link down below because I'm telling you, this is our plan for Babe Media, right? We need this to be bigger than Gimlet. So you know like the Gimlet massive like podcasting studio, they have all of these shows, they're amazing. We need our Baird Media, our Hendrik and Ethan to be like that, like take over the world together. And you wanna know why? Because they're part of this community. So strategically, it would be beneficial to everyone. Yes. So we need a we need a podcaster master like agency network in the network. Let's build one. There you go. <laughs> Marlena, let's move over to you. All right. Hello everyone. Um I've agreed just in my mind with everyone who's already spoken. But one thing I'd like to say is often in with entrepreneurs, people think of themselves as, as separate. And that's where this jarring happens when how do I become part of a community when I'm actually a single entity business and I think that if, if we can highlight that on, on that podcast that we're actually not separate we all part of a net some kind of net and maybe network is not the right word but we, we some kind of like a like a web we weave together and that's where the strength of the community comes from in, in connecting together like that so that if there's one little area that feels weak everybody can go and help that that area because we go through through adversities in our lives and that is actually where opportunity comes from when you're going in those really dark moments when you have communities that reach out and help you and that's what the fempreneur will teach us in as individuals as our community catching people that are not comfortable in their community in their entrepreneurship space they may be feeling extremely lonely or struggling with something um, and knowing that it's not only about the, the financial aspect of entrepreneurship, it's that uh, tenacity, the resilience that has to be built in the background. So from my perspective, I would offer support if people have adverse reactions to what's going on in their lives, in their own businesses, and um, exploring ways to reach out to the community and actually say, hello, this is who I am and this is how I'm feeling. I need some help today. Because tomorrow it could be you. And then at least we know that we've got that, that community and conversation going. So my name is Marlena and I'm from Self and More Coaching and I help people transform through trauma. Oh, um, Marlena, I, I really like that. You know, if, if we take a step back and we look at brick and mortar businesses that have physical products, what happens when that physical product nobody in the community actually wants or needs? Do they survive? No. So when people are putting products together and creating products, they generally create a product that the people in the community want and need, and then they make themselves visible, and then the people in the community go, oh, we would love to support that because we want this and we need this. So they go there and they buy the physical product. So the brick and mortar store, without the relationship with the community, are they able to sell? And the answer is no. They're just a display. That's it. You know, you're just a display with a product in the window that people are going to walk past because they don't need it. So if we go to entrepreneurship, let's apply the same principle. Let's do something that the community needs, that the community wants, that you can build a relationship with the community, and then the community can sub just like they would a product that they need they can support your space and how much better as an entrepreneur would you be if you are supported by an entire community 
of real people. It's really, really simple. But we seem to miss it. I think that's also where, Marlena, you can have such a magical, impressive, incredible oh, impact yes. in the space. So I'm actually so thankful that you highlighted. I was thinking about that this morning. Like I was kind of getting to grips with like some things that I've been going through. And I'm very task and results oriented. And I'm also naturally a, a loner, <laughs> believe it or not. I, I still don't understand how I ended up in this position. I'm very thankful to be here. I just, I love that I'm not alone anymore, but naturally the Nistine inside of me is still very much a loner. And I had to come to grips with, I can make the best productivity schedule, workflow, max schedule, to-do list system like in the entire world with the best self-care in between. Like I, I can plan that perfectly. If my mindset is not in the right place, it is just not going to work. None of it is going to work the way that it should. Where if my mind is in the right place, everything is all of It's like water. It just like starts flowing. It's just like this waterfall and things get accomplished. So if you can help the people in the community with that mindset and getting into that space where things just flow naturally, we're just empowered in that space where we're like, I can solve this. Let me do that. Like that is such a, such a, such a powerful thing to be able to do, Marlena. Or, so thank you so much. Or I can solve this because we can solve this. Mm -hmm. It becomes easy. Yeah, and the only way to get into that mindset is actually to talk to the right people. Chris has done it for me so many times. Marlena, you've done it for me. Linda, you've done it for me. Scott, you've done it. Like, Hendra, Glissetia, all of you. Like, when I'm in that glitch mode and I just, like, need someone to tell me, <laughs> think about it like this, and then we go again. I, I'm like the only yeah. way that you get those blocks out of your mind is by talking to another human. And the reality is, where would our our business export project be without the people? And the answer is absolutely no way. Hmm. Absolutely no way. It doesn't exist without the people. So. Yeah. So let's break down some mindset. So Marlena, you're gonna be on mindset breakdown. That's awesome. Love it. Lisa, let's go to you. Hi guys, and I think just something that Scott mentioned uh, briefly, I think he just ran over it. It's about entrepreneurs making a difference in their communities because government or governments are not going to be able to create or to be able to help the communities around. It's only entrepreneurs that are going to be helping out. That are, It's only entrepreneurs that are going to be employing the other people or helping other people up and you as an entrepreneur cannot do it on your own you've got to do it within a movement and that is where the fempreneur movement is important thank you thank you so much lisecha and that is lisecha mokaro he's a business development specialist at radio pulpit and also recently for the fempreneur how lucky are we? <laughs> <laughs> so Lizetia is on that driving force, guys. He's getting the movement out there. He's talking to universities. He's talking to schools. He's getting those important meetings. He's making the Fempreneur go viral. So if you got a contact at a university, a business school, a training institution, a school, get them in touch with this HR he'll make a meeting and we'll help get the entrepreneurial skills to all entrepreneurs that need it worldwide scott let's move over to you hey guys one more thing i wanted to mention so i'm going to actually be doing a major video on this shortly because um, i'm watching the same problem occur over and over again when people attend networking events and one-on-one -on -one meetings and they do more one-on-one -on -one meetings and they do more networking events and they do more one-on-one -on -one meetings and they do more networking events and they don't get any business out of it. Um, this is a problem that a lot of people have and the actual, the solution to that is actually not easy. And this is where mindset coaches, um, you know, Linda mentioned it, Marlene mentioned it, et cetera, need to start coming to play because we all make the same mistakes. And that is we don't project our perfect referral so it's a, it basically what you, I call it the chicken egg and the egg, the chicken sale and the egg sale. 
So we go out there and we say, I want to meet anybody that's looking to make their life and business wonderful. And da, da, da. and it's like, oh gosh, I can't, I can't even begin to think of someone because you've just included everybody. But the mindset is we've got a fear that we do not want to paint our perfect specific referral because we think by doing that, it's going to exclude everybody else that, that I could have asked a referral for. You have to be able to specifically paint the picture in the person's mind of who you are looking to get in front of. So I did this with, um, I don't know if you guys have met Coach Kathy in, um, she's a really cool lady, you know, Coach Kathy. I started a session yeah. with her. She's wonderful. She's having the same issue. And I said to her, Kathy, what do you love to do? And we got to the bottom of it. And she goes, I like to meet with staff. I just want, I just want to meet with one employee and then who's, who's suffering at the moment for anything and have a conversation with that person. And then I said to her, then you need to tell that to people in a meeting. You need to say, I want to meet with an employee, one employee that's struggling, one employee that's suffering. Just show me a, an individual, put me in touch with them. I'll have a 15, 20 minute conversation with them and I'll really help them get to grips with what they're trying to accomplish and what they're trying to get over. Now you can actually in your head, you can give a referral because now I'm thinking in my back of my head, wow, who do I know that's a business owner or an employee that's really struggling at the moment that I can put in touch with? I'm, actually, I'm actively thinking for referral. But when you're in a meeting and you go, oh, I can I can help anybody make their life better and become their great authentic selves or whatever, or take their business to the new dimension, no one's thinking about it because everybody says the same thing. Do you know what I mean, guys? You need to somehow, we need to get specific and actually paint the picture of the perfect person we want to get in front of. How old are they? What gender are they? What are they suffering from? Who are they working for? And project that image into the mind of the person that you're meeting with. That way, that person can now really think, wow, who, who do you want to speak to? Man, I, you know, I really want to speak to nurses who are burnt out doing 12-hour shifts. They're struggling. They're sick of it. They're working six days a week. And I know what these nurses are going through because my mother was a nurse and she went through. And you paint this picture. And immediately, everybody listening to that is trying to think of somebody who's a, someone who's a nurse that they can refer to you. Does that make sense, guys? We have to change our mindsets. We've got to start painting the picture of the specific person we want to meet. Otherwise, we're going to have meeting after meeting after meeting, and we're going to go nowhere. 100%. 100%. And I think if, if, you, if you, even if we take that a step further and then start creating a community out of those people or having a community of people understand exactly what it is that you do, that is powerful. Mm -hmm. That's very powerful. Mm. Yeah, we need to have more people in this network specifically that are super connected and that understand the referral process. So that's super, super valuable, Scott. We're definitely going to be leaning on you to bring that to the Fempreneur movement. And, and where does yeah. it all No, it's a pleasure, guys, because I've just get so many people say the same thing. So many meetings, no business. How do I get business? It's the same thing. And the reason for the not getting business is because the individual is not so crystal clear on who they want to get in front of. And getting over that fear, like Linda and Molly, maybe you guys can, you must have processes to get over that fear. And the fear is I'm so scared to go into a network group and say, I'm looking to meet, you know, um, no, I'm targeting nurses who are burnt out because I'm so terrified that I can, I'm a coach and I can solve everybody's problems. And I'm so scared that if I, if I go specific, then I'm somehow going to eliminate the chance that somebody in that meeting is going to know some arbitrary person who can refer to me. It doesn't work like that. We've got it. We have to. We have to be specific, guys. You're going to crash. I'm seeing it happen to too many people right now. People want to refer, but if they don't know who they're referring to, if you can't project the image of your per the perfect referral into the minds of that person, it's not going to work. Anyway. Yeah. 100%. I love that. Thank you, Scott. Um, and I think also the one other thing is like, if you don't have a relationship with someone, I I'm not going to, like, if I don't have a relationship with you, I'm not going to refer people to you because I don't know you. I don't know what you're going to do with them, you know? So I think that's very, very valuable. Thank you so much, everybody, for being part of this epic show, guys. This is part of how we get the fempreneur movement out there. Uh, can you guys imagine if we are here again, same people, same place, next year, in a year from now, what we're going to be talking about? 
like we're going to be talking about. So yeah, we had this conversation together and since then we've changed these many lives. We've helped this many people. We've empowered this many entrepreneurs. We've gotten into this many schools. We have the program running mm. in this many business schools. Yeah, but if we, you know, if we go backwards a little bit, we take a look at the beginning of our journey, we can already sit here and talk about the people that we've met along our journey and how they've benefited us, we've benefited them, they've benefited each other, and the amount of stories that have come from that. So we can already do that. But now we want to take it even further. We don't want to stop and then go, let's keep talking about the stories of the past. We now want to go, let's create more stories and let's include more people and let's make it even bigger. Let's make some success and make some hope. Also, by the way, guys, like I just got to put this out there because Scott now jump started the process and I'm thinking about it again. Me and Hendrik are currently doing this thing where we're using my most trusted to refer people to each other. We're swapping introductions and we're very clear on who we're swapping introductions for. If anyone wants to do that with me, I'm looking for more partners that also want to do that because I think Hendrik, while we were busy, like we both said we were going to start today and then we both such like eight type personalities. We started straight away and I think Hendrik got two meetings and I got three and it was amazing. It was like in 30 minutes or a minute or I got like it was very quickly or an hour, something like that it was really, really cool. So if you guys want to do that with me, I'll help you um, build your network and then also we can swap introductions if you're ready. Cool. Um, on that note, remember, win a t-shirt, get your referral program thingy out there, win a cash flow prize with Linda just in time for the Christmas cash flow crunch. That's going to be amazing. Um, and yeah, we'll see you again next time, same place on the coffee shop show for entrepreneurs. We hope that this has given you an hour where you could just connect with and like, get grounded in entrepreneurship and remember what it's all about. Remember to connect with all the awesome humans. They're all linked in the description below for the rest of their lives. They're linked there. Just go and click. And oh. if you tell them, hey, I saw you on the show, can we grab a coffee? They'll probably say, like, yeah, that'll be awesome. And then also just a reminder, my LinkedIn profile picture will be changing be really because cool. I got shot by Johan Morehouse. I have to show you guys. I you just quickly, Chris, click. I know Chris wants to kill me. There it is. <laughs> now, isn't that the face of a highly sought after professional? <laughs> that just screams high end business. <laughs> so if you I, want I to love, see. I love the t shirt that you were wearing, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you, Chris. Do you want to wrap us up? Okay, so to echo what I just learned from Scott on the show today is that I'm looking to connect with female entrepreneurs that are struggling in their business. And you know they should be doing well, but they're struggling or they have a fear of being able to start their business and they're feeling all alone. I'd like to connect with them and introduce them to an awesome movement, a community called the Fempreneur Movement. And all you have to do is share the link to this video with them, tell them to get in contact with us, click on the links below that are in the description. And then they're not going to be alone female entrepreneurs anymore. Ha! I think I did that right, Scott. I can teach an old dog new tricks, even with some gray hairs. So thanks for joining us on the show. We'll see you again next week. Remember, there is the opportunity to win this amazing cash flow bill that has been put together specifically for you. And to do that, all you have to do is sign up with the link down below uh, for your referral link, as well as join the Facebook um, uh, Fempreneur uh, group on, on Facebook. Yes, the link's down below. So share your unique affiliate link onto your different platforms. You'll get points for that. Join us on that Facebook page because you can get bonus points opportunities and also communicate, uh, communicate, comment on this YouTube video or on Facebook or wherever it is that you're watching so that you can get yourself that bonus points. You need 35 points to be in the draw, which will be taking place two weeks from now. But we're here every single Monday. So make sure you subscribe and like our channel and share and comment and everything because then you get notified when the next show is coming up. It tells you, hey, the next coffee shop's coming up. We've learned so much. It's been great value. I think that is a really good place for us to wrap for today. And Steve, your famous closing words. Closing words coming now. Linda just reminded me, guys, like we said on the previous show, our new Tribe song is coming out. Kenton Drabalski from Peach Jam Records and his, Pia, his partner Cheyenne 
they're bringing a whole entire new tribe song inspired by the movement, inspired by our entrepreneurs, and it's coming out soon in December. So keep your eye in this space. Our whole intro is going to be changing very soon. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So that's something exciting. Guys, on that note, we'll see you again next time, same place. And may all your wildest entrepreneurial 